I do things a little differently when I train my arms. My trainer is Charles Glass. I kind of do things a little different. Angles, the way I position my wrists, you know, movements as far as the twisting, rotating. When I'm training my biceps, different squeezing and angles when I'm doing my triceps. So um, this is going to be a lot of information for you guys to take in. So if you're watching, make sure you get a fucking pen and paper and write this shit down. What's up, everybody? Guys, it's Nino here at Destination Dallas. I'm gonna get some arm training in my second workout since my stem cell um, injections over a month ago. So we're gonna hit some arms today, buys and tries. So many guys when they do preacher curls, they grab the bar and the first instinct they have when they're curling is this. They use their wrists, right? So one thing that Charles Glass taught me, which, you know, a lot of things that I explain to you guys, these are things that I learned um, from the best in the business, which is Charles Glass. So whenever you're doing a preacher curl or most of your curl movements, you want to target the bicep, right? So the way to do that is to keep your wrist out of it. So instead of curling up and doing this, keep your wrist back. So when you're curling on preacher curls, keep your wrist out of the movement and curl like this. So you're not using form. You might not be able to use as much fucking weight as you normally would because you're taking your forearms out of it and that that muscling of the of the of the curl is out of it, but trying to get fucking big arms. Lighten up the weight a little bit, keep the wrist back, curl it, nice time under tension, momentum, and uh, try it out. Notice if you notice the pad naturally on a lot of these machines leans forward. That's for a reason. So I exaggerate it by leaning even more forward. So if you sit in this pad, it's already pushing you forward. So you don't really want to go wide grip. I think it kind of negates the movement. Unless you're that big, you can't fit in it. I obviously don't have that problem. So I go inside grip and I lean forward, keep my elbows back, letting the triceps do the movement. So many guys I see will do this and it'll just go like this. But if you lean forward, you're getting a way better stretch in your tricep and you can get a farther push on the movement. So if you have somebody, especially on the hammer strength machine, you guys see with the plate loaded, what I like to do if you face that machine, have somebody hold down the center of your back, almost like your scapula down, because the weight can push you up. Um, so I like to have somebody that's holding my, my shoulders down when I'm doing the movement. So if you're having a training partner, have them hold the middle of your back down or put their, their form into your back to hold you down while you're doing it to stop that momentum from you coming up and down and up and down. But give it a try with knuckles facing each other and pushing the uh, dip machine down. You'll feel it a lot in the outer head of your tricep. Give it a try. So doing the cable curls, a lot of guys, you'll see them in the gym, they'll just, they'll, they'll stay here. You know, which will work the biceps, obviously, because you're curling, but a better movement is to curl, you know, a lot of people think they, they, that they can't move their, their arms. You know, this movement right here, that's more of like a drag curl movement, which is phenomenal for the biceps. But when you're doing a curl, whether it's like a cable curl or doing a barbell curl, really try to bring the bar up to at least about your nose level. That's really gonna get a good peak on the bicep. So don't just stay so stationary, locked in here. I see so many guys, you know, with certain exercises, they'll stay like this, or if guys are doing closer cable curls, they just stay here like this, they don't get a good stretch to it. So you gotta make sure you feel the movement. All right, so for the rope push downs, what a lot of guys do, they'll grab the rope like this and just do this with the rope. What you wanna do is keep your knuckles facing each other, so your elbows are gonna be a little more flared out than being like this. So you're here, keep your knuckles facing together. Then when you come down, okay, with the rope, you wanna exaggerate that movement and pull that rope apart and put your pinkies as far up as you can. So your pinkies almost wanna face the ceiling when you're done with the motion. Too many guys just do this and they just open the rope up, but that only hits so much of the tricep head. When you actually turn your wrist and get those pinkies toward the ceiling, you'll feel a whole different um, recruit of muscle fibers in your triceps. So make sure knuckles are together, flaring your elbows out a little bit, and then when you come down, turn those pinkies all the way up to the ceiling. So, hammer curls, a lot of people like to do them standing straight up. 
which is great. Alternate them, but I like to change up the hammer curl once in a while and do a cross body hammer curl. Just a little more comfortable. Hits a little more breaking rate out, I think. So you can do them. The only problem with doing them cross your body, you can't do them at the same time because the dumbbells are hit together. So you have no choice but to isolate them and do alternating hammer curls. So you want to come across your body, the dumbbell should be right in line with your chin when you finish the movement. You don't want to stay here, you want to come across your body and your thumb should be in line with your chin when you finish the movement. When I do skull crushers, incline, decline, flat, especially when I'm doing an easy curl bar, a lot of guys, the first thing you want to do is grab the outside of the, of the bar, it's easier. You want to take a closer grip with these. And a lot of guys come to the skull, which is fine, thus the reason why it's called the skull crusher. I go like to go behind my head, and instead of pressing just straight up, I try to go out and up. So I'm not just coming in a straight line, I'm pushing this way, not this way. So instead of going right to the skull, try to go behind your head and push out and up. So instead of going straight, if your head's here, instead of pushing straight up, push that way. Because that's what a lot of people don't do with a lot of exercise. They don't get a full stretch. And you'll get a full stretch and you don't get a full contraction. So you always want to make sure you're getting the most out of every single movement that you're doing in the gym. You don't want to keep those short, choppy range of motions because you're not going to hit the full muscle bellies like you're supposed to. 